Time Talk to of... check in with Kevin and Chris from 98.7 The Dove. Uh, good morning, guys. Hello. How you guys doing? How you doing? Good to see you, as We're always. We're doing okay. We just had our minds blown with Reza, the amazing, amazing magician from uh, Branson and all over the world. It was just like, wow. It was amazing. I love magic. Yeah. I love magic awesome. tricks. I always want to know. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he wouldn't tell us, though. He wouldn't tell us, yeah. yeah. Oh, he wouldn't tell you. <laughs> no. Hey, listen, guys, before right out of the gate, we got to say, uh, we're always running into people who watch your show, you know, <laughs> and they say, oh, we see you guys on Fridays, and it's great, but we have a special shout-out yes, this morning to uh, uh, a family, Kim and Abby. Yes. And they say they love you guys, and they watch you all the time, and they said they'll be watching today, so we wanted to make sure... And let you know about them. They, uh, we, uh, we're doing, we're doing something big with the uh, Children's Miracle Network coming up on the twenty first and twenty second. Mm -hmm. So that's how we met them. And yeah, they're great and they love you guys. Yeah. Oh well, Kim and Abby, thank you. Kim and Abby, we love yeah. you right back. Oh my gosh, you go. thank you for watching. Yes, love them. Yeah. Nice. Very good. All right. Okay. Now let's get into it. Let's get into it. Well, we did talk Oscars earlier. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I, we can revisit that. But there was also a food question. But Jeremy goes, there's too many foods Maddie doesn't like. But what foods, I think, would we so, absolutely not eat? Yeah. No, let's go there. OK, so we did uh, the other day with our listeners. What food would you never eat, even if someone handed you a $100 right. bill? And, so yeah. I think and Maddie and I are very similar. Yeah, I don't know how long your list is, Maddie, but her list is unbelievably. <laughs> she won't eat anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, well, my number my number one like most hated food to even be around is tuna fish. Oh, I don't want any part it. of it. I don't want to smell it. Yeah. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to anything it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna second the fish fishiness. Um, I would never eat even for a hundred dollars the canned salmon that I was gifted on my birthday from one Jeremy Rabe. It's already oh, in the that trash. Is rude. Hey, bring it over here. Someone <laughs> wants it. it You're gonna have to go dumpster here. diving, Kevin. It's oh. in there. <laughs> Kevin, wouldn't be the first time. Kev, do you have anything that you would eat for hundred dollars? Because I, for hundred bucks, I probably would at least try it. <laughs> yeah, I, I. You had one thing. Well, I couldn't even think of anything. I had to come up with some weird. Yeah, something uh, weird uh, like some. Know, it's called fish a fish egg brain no, no, or no, something. No, it's not a fish egg brain. It's called a century egg. <laughs> Maybe you've heard of these. And uh, the, they, it's a, a tradition in Japan. They bury the eggs, and they call them century eggs because they're underground for like 100 years. And they turn all black and gross. I don't think I'm going to eat one of those. Oh. Uh, okay, so, Kev, that just triggered a memory. Uh, a guest on our show a few years ago brought me a pickled duck egg to eat. Oh, okay. I about and? tossed my cookies on air. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. It was, thinking about it right now, it gets me a little, mm. yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to snack on those, but for 100 bucks, <laughs> I'd eat it. Come on. And you're saying you have to eat the whole thing start to finish. It has to be gone cleared plate. Not even just a I bite. Mean, I like Maddie's drool. Yeah. That makes it, that ups the ante. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I would, I'm, I mean, I'm there's in. a lot of food, like, like, you know, like sardines or just like, if, if the fish still has the head on it, I don't want to eat it. Yeah. You know. Right. right. Well, here's a shocker. I'll twist it up. <laughs> One thing I will try in the fish category, because it's classy and rich, Caviar. I would try it just to say I've tried it. Really good caviar yeah. is great on a cracker. Do you have to talk like this while you're eating it? Uh, yes, and your chin has to be a little protruded. Yes, darling. Yes. But see, uh, <laughs> sardines are the regular guys' caviar. <laughs> no, on a uh, family excursion one time, there was a shrimp boil, and the mm. eyes and the tentacles were staying. No back Absolutely at this non-meat eater, yeah. and I, I could. You should do crawfish. Ew. <laughs> no. Hey, I got a question for you guys now, too. Maddie yeah. and I posed to our viewers, we entered this yesterday, and Chris, you're probably going to have way longer list than Kevin, but a movie that you've seen at least 10 times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have um, one? I have a guilty pleasure movie, the original Point Break with Patrick Swayze, Keanu Reeves. I saw it 11 times in the theater, paid every time, wow. and I love it, and I would watch it again and again and again. Yeah. I, I knew a kid in uh, seventh grade that saw Star Wars 70 times in the theater, uh, but... For me, I think it's probably going to be Saving Private Ryan. And, and it may not be the whole movie, but it, if I come across that movie, I can't leave it. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, that's, that's, a, probably... that's a good one. That's a long one, too. Right. Saving Private yeah. Ryan. You know what, Maddie? You know what we didn't say to each other, though? What is a movie seen that many times like in the theater? The only one I can think of for myself 
is Titanic. I remember seeing that four or five times in the theater because it was such a big movie at the time. Is you just you love that times? movie, Jeremy. You uh, won't stop talking about Titanic yeah, almost all it. the time. Try, stop trying to make Titanic happen. Oh, it happened. It already happened. It happened. I don't think I've <laughs> been a repeat offender yeah. at, in the movie theater for a movie. I think I just see it once and done. You know what my mom did? When I was a, you'll when you'll I was love a this, Lou Zader. Oh, go ahead, oh. Kevin. Sorry. Go ahead, Kev. I was just saying, we saw Around the World in 80 Days, the Three Stooges movie, the Midnight Movies. I probably saw that 10 times just to get out of the house when I was a kid. <laughs> Go ahead. There's a movie that my mom loved so much, she probably saw it 20 times in the theater because she had to go with every single family member to see their reaction to the movie because she loved it. Any guesses? Tootsie. Oh, gosh. My Big uh, Fat Greek Wedding. Oh, that's a oh. good one. My yeah. mom took everybody individually. Are like, you going to watch this with me? I got to see your reaction. I yeah. love that movie. And I can say this to you, Chris Luzader. What do you mean you don't eat no meat? That's okay. I make lamb. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank don't you, guys. You hate it when you're watching a movie and somebody you're with isn't paying attention. I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Kevin and Chris, have a great weekend. Good to talk to you guys. Bye. All right, you guys, we'll be back with our friends from Least of These Food Pantry. They're cooking up something delicious. I can smell it. I can't even see it. Oh. You'll find out.